Attempt to avoid deer causes rollover crash. Sex assault charges filed after hotel assault. Multiple vehicle crash shuts down I-43 Friday night. These stories and much more coming up on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister and welcome to the Monday, October 15th edition of Community News Review. One person was seriously injured in a rollover crash in the town of Mosul Saturday night. The Sheriff's Department says the two, 2004 Ford Explorer was northbound on Lakeshore Road near Lake Orchard Court when the driver swerved to miss a deer. She lost control of the vehicle and it rolled twice before coming to the rest in the ditch. The driver, a 31-year-old woman, was taken to a Green Bay Area hospital to be treated while her passenger had minor injuries. And one person was hurt in a motorcycle crash Saturday morning on Sheboygan's north side. The Sheriff's Department says a 36-year-old Sheboygan man was negotiating the roundabout on Highway 42 at 43 when he lost control and the motorcycle hit the gravel. The cyclist was thrown from the vehicle and then taken by Orange Cross to the hospital. A Union Grove man's facing charges for sexually assaulting a family member at an area hotel. Javier Mata was arrested after the family member contacted the authorities about the incident last month. Court documents say the two got along well and spent the day in Milwaukee before coming to Sheboygan, where Mata rented a hotel for the two to stay in. The victim says Mata brought a bottle of vodka for the two to drink, and after she passed out, Mata undressed her and she woke up to Mata kissing her shoulder and touching her. She said she was afraid to stop him because he had been in the military and he knew that he had killed people before. Mata is facing 40 years in prison if he is found guilty. Inattentive driving caused an accident that shut down I-43 southbound for several hours Friday evening. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department says they received a report of multiple vehicle crash on I-43 north of County Road MM in the town of Mosul. Sergeant James Gottsacker says two vehicles were stopped on the shoulder of the road because of an accident involving both vehicles. While they were stopped, a straight truck hit both vehicles. Scanner reports indicate that there was debris everywhere and no one was injured and the driver of the straight truck was ticketed for inattentive driving. A 46-year-old Random Lake man has been arrested and charged with child abuse after a drunken beating at a home in Random Lake. Prosecutors charged James Klug with a felony child abuse charge after Klug's wife called 911 last Friday to report a disturbance. When deputies arrived, they learned that Klug had come home drunk and fell asleep. The mother and one of the girls had knocked on the door of the room he was in, and when he opened it, he slammed both of their heads together. The mother fell on the floor and was on the floor reaching for her phone when Klug kicked her several times before going back to bed. When deputies tried to talk to Klug, he refused to come out of the bedroom and was finally arrested when the officer removed the locked door handle to get in. He is facing more than six years in prison if he is found guilty. And the Barron County Sheriff's Office says they believe a 13-year-old girl is in danger after her parents were found dead in a western Wisconsin home. Multiple reports indicate Jamie Kloss' parents were shot dead earlier this morning before she was taken from the scene, and Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald says Kloss is not considered a suspect, and the department's main focus is finding her alive.
she is considered to be in danger. Klaus is described as five feet tall, 100 pounds, with strawberry blonde hair and green eyes. As, a, as of now, details of where she may have been taken to have not been released. A motive for the shooting has not been determined, and the names of the victims have not been released. But officials have confirmed that they were the parents of Klaus. Anyone with information about her whereabouts or anyone that has contacted her is asked to contact the Barron County Sheriff's Department at 715-537-3106. Milwaukee County Sheriff is investigating how and why three people tried to storm past a gate at the 128th Air Wing at Mitchell Airport. It happened Sunday afternoon around 3 o'clock p.m. According to a Wisconsin National Guard spokesperson, a member of the base security force fired a shot after the three subjects tried to rush past. They have been arrested and are being held in the county jail. No names have been released, and the motive is still unclear. The 128th was holding a ceremony to welcome back about 250 airmen at the time. It is unclear if they had any ties to the event, and the base went into lockdown and normal operations resumed later on Sunday. And finally, the Wisconsin Department of Transportation announces completion of the environmental study to expand Highway 23. The new release from the DOT is below. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation, or WSDOT, announces signing of the Wisconsin 23-2018 Limited Scope Supp Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement and the Record of Decision, or ROD, the Federal Highway Administration, FHWA, and WSDOT signed the documents on Monday, October 15th. D the ROD allows Wisconsin 23 expansion in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties to move from preliminary design to final design and construction. The environmental document finalized today clearly show a four-line expansion of the Wisconsin 23 is needed for safety and efficiency of on the corridor, says WSDOT Secretary Dave Ross. It also addresses 100% of the court's concerns that halted this project two years ago. I would like to thank FHWA and the team at WSDOT who have been working diligently to move the project forward. The project will reconstruct 19.1 miles of the Wisconsin 23 as a four-line on-alignment divided highway from US 151 in Fond du Lac East to County P in Plymouth. Numerous Wisconsin 23 intersections will be improved as part of the project. Additionally, Wisconsin 23 will be designated as an expressway to preserve future right-of-way for improvements that could be implemented as needed. Expressway designation is completed using authority under Wisconsin Statute 84.295. WSDOT will start construction on Wisconsin 23 project next summer in Sheboygan County. Reconstruction will conclude in 2022 when the Fond du Lac County portion of the project is complete. And that is all for today. Join me again next time for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.